On IT Pro TV, we normally use virtualization as part of our technologies for being able to display and to show you some of the features that you can find inside the operating systems. A lot of times you can do the same thing at home, even though here on IT Pro TV we may use different products. There's a product out there that you can use to actually help you to emulate the environment that we're showing you as well and to create a sandbox for yourself. One of those products is what we call VirtualBox, and it's absolutely free. You can go to their site, download it, and get it ready to actually work. One of the things that we want to do, though, is we want to set up a sandbox environment that will make it efficient for you so that if you want to create new machines, you can actually do it fairly quickly after the very first installation that you have running on your uh, sandbox environment inside of VirtualBox. Let me show you how to do that. So inside of uh, VirtualBox now, there's a couple of machines that I already have running. So normally what you would do is you'd go ahead and install your operating system. Now, of course, you have to have a properly licensed copy of your operating system, or you can go out and get evaluation copies and use those as well. Since you're actually just testing and you're not running in a testing environment or in a live environment, you're perfectly fine in being able to do that. So normally what you would do is once you actually set up that virtual machine and you have the ISO installed, you go ahead and you verify that everything is there and I'm using an, a Windows 8.1 and I need to actually go ahead and select the proper one for the eval copy here. And when I do that, I can simply start the machine and once everything starts going, it will begin the installation process. So just like you were doing it on a, on a regular machine here, it would begin that process and it would begin to install and then you would be uh, ready to go. Now I went ahead and set this up. So in the end of that process is not about installing uh, virtual machines, but what we want to do is want to get to the finished product. So once everything is done and you actually have your virtual machine installed inside of your environment, such as VirtualBox, you want to install the virtual machine additions. So you insert the guest additions on the CD image, let it install, the machine will reboot, and that will allow the integration with your uh, keyboard and your mouse to be seamless between the operating system and your guest operating system as well. Once everything is in the condition that you want it to be in, the problem that we have is fairly simple. We do a lot of demonstrations, we make a lot of configuration changes, and what ends up happening is after a show, we simply go ahead and just get rid of it and delete it, and that means you'd have to re reinstall the operating system again, but there's something else that you can do instead. So before you actually mess with the operating system in any way and in a lot of settings, you can go ahead and sysprep the image and then save it as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come down here to my uh, Windows Explorer and on side of local disk C for a Windows machine and then Windows and I'm gonna scroll down to System32 and inside of System32 I am looking for the sysprep folder. It is here that you see a little program that's running and you can also run this from the command line if you choose to. Today I'm simply gonna run it from the prompt here or just uh, from the GUI interface and that will bring me up to here. Now this will strip away all of the actual uh, specific settings from this machine because what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this machine as well afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and select generalize that will strip out all that information and on the shutdown option I'm going to select reboot. When this happens everything should be stripped down and it should shut it off and that will give me time to be able to go ahead and also clone this machine. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK from right now, and you'll begin to see that it will go ahead and start saving everything and going ahead and stripping away anything that actually uh, latches itself onto a uniqueness so that what will happen is it will shut down and then we'll be able to clone it and have the machine start back up and I'll be able to reclone this machine over and over again. All right, my machine has successfully shut down after sys prepping the machine, and now the next step for me to go ahead and take a look in and do is to go ahead and be able to take a snapshot of this machine to get it ready for cloning. So the machine is powered down. I'm now inside of the VirtualBox Manager and over here on the right hand side I can click on the snapshot link. Notice the current state that I have and I'm just going to go ahead and create a new snapshot and I'm just going to say sysprepped Windows 8.1 click OK. Once I have that I now am ready to reclone this machine. So if I only needed more than another machine or a brand new machine, I can do it from here or if I needed multiple machines. So now that I have this current state, I can click on this little sheep, I like the little icon, and then I can give it a new name if I wanted to. So let me go ahead and select 002 
and says reinitialize the MAC address, I don't want to do that. Now that I have a sysprep image, I want to actually make it generate some new stuff here at the same time. I'm click next. And then it's going to ask me if I want to do a linked clone or a full clone. If I want it to act as an independent machine and not based off of the original hard drive, I'm going to do this full clone image. From there, it's going to say, hey, what do I want? I want the actual current machine state or everything. If I choose everything, it says it will reflect the current state and the original machine settings uh, and have matching snapshots. I just want a current state. And I'm going to click clone. And in a moment, you actually see that what will end up happening here is it will generate a second machine for me over on the left-hand side. And once everything is done in about 20 seconds or so, we'll actually be able to restart the machine just like the first time I installed Windows. And it'll actually be partway through the process, and it will be ready for me to use after that. So we'll just give it a few more seconds here. All right, so my machine is now successfully cloned. And so now I have two different virtual machines. Now you may be wondering, like, why is that actually going to be nice? Because now on this original machine, I can actually go ahead and clone another one if I want to. If I needed two machines or three machines without having to reinstall it each and every time. So I'm just going to click start on that second machine. And in a moment, you actually end up seeing that it will go ahead and start the process. And it will be just like I had, I had put the uh, DVD in there to actually start the install of Windows uh, 8.1 and it will lead me through the rest of the process. By being able to do that, it makes it much more efficient for a sandbox. We don't always have to start over from scratch. It makes it much more efficient for you. So that's the way that you actually begin to configure a sandbox in VirtualBox for your environment.